Hi guys, Don here. Uh, I want to show you something here, how to edit your saved findings. If you go up here to this little um, little gear and you go to saved findings, these are all the notes that I have saved findings. So for example, when someone comes in for an ingrown toenail, it has the normal findings all pre-populated and you just change what you need to. Uh, so what I wanted to change recently was uh, for my saved findings for the foot pain. And uh, the issue was I, I didn't have normal values. Like here you can see everything is normal. Uh, but this area right here where it had ankle and feet, it wasn't being auto-selected. So every time I did a note, I would have to click on these ones and that make it harder. And also it was missing manual uh, muscle testing. You can't uh, edit these in this section, but what you can do is you can change the saved findings. So if something uh, you want to change it to a person has a limp all the time, you can do that, or you can do normal and no limp. So these are easy. When it happens is then when you pull in a note, it pulls in saved findings as normal, okay? Uh, and then that makes it a lot easier versus a blank note. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you uh, how this works. So what we'll do is we'll we'll go into uh, uh, a these these actually notes. So what you what you do. So that's under under the saved findings. If you go want to go regularly back into the notes, when I go into this clinical, and you see the physical exam templates. So the difference is if you pull up this template, if you pull in the template, it pulls in this stuff and it's not filled out. When you go to the saved findings, then it'll fill it out the way you want it to fill out and pull in the note versus pulling out everything. So you have to click normal dorsalis pedis, normal everything. With the saved findings function, it makes it a lot easier. So I hope that helps you uh, understand how to do that easier. Okay, thanks.